Copenhagen cafe? Uh, I cannot say it in crowns, <laughs> but it was five euros. The most expensive postcards of our lives, maybe. I must say, the stamps are beautiful, though. They have are. you got right? Let's have a look. It's 36 krona. Denmark's in the space. Danes in the space. I have this one. This one. I don't know about you. I've got totally different ones. Oh, that's good. I didn't know they were so much into space. Here. I know, me neither. There must be a reason. <laughs> no, as, as, yeah, okay. Adesso sto firmando. Oh, oh, okay. So, again, where. Very important moment of yes. this trip. <laughs> Yay! Let's go Let's to go. Christiania, where we won't be able to film any videos. So again, you'll have to come for yourself to see it, like the banqueting hall of Island Donan Castle. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Let's go. Let's go. After having brunch, we went to Christiania, uh, which I honestly didn't like. I was expecting something very different. Uh, this is just my personal opinion, of course. And um, But I was expecting something like maybe a utopic, idyllic kind of community inside the city of Copenhagen, but has its own rules and yeah, it doesn't follow the Danish law. But I must say I found it a bit depressing. Maybe it was because of the weather, which wasn't nice, um, but I found it more dirty than I thought and also quite shady. As I read the book Hukka or Hicke by Mike Viking, who's the director of the Happiness Research Institute in Copenhagen, I read all these great ideas about living in a community. So yeah, I was expecting something more wholesome and positive. If you've ever been to Copenhagen and to Christiania in particular, I would love to hear what your thoughts are about it.
in Denmark, umbrellas are as useless as in Scotland.